Yo, what's good? My name is Mason. We at Mason Music Studio. Today we're doing Behind the Beat. I'm going to break down a song I did with my boy 917 Racks. The name of the song is Geek Squash. Let's get to it. All right, so first I started with the sample. Uh, I found this shit on YouTube somewhere. I forget the name of it. I won't even let you know the sauce. It started like this. <laughs> So that shit came off timing or a whole bunch of random shit. So I do that shit in Serato at first, just to get it on timing right. Sound like this. So basically, I had a filter on that thing. I pitched it down a couple of semitones, probably like three. And then that's what I got for real. Like that was the main basis of what was good. That shit was like. Next, we chopped it up uh, kind of an old fashioned type of way. I just took the sample and chopped it up after that. So fuck it. <laughs> Just the first little intro part, just kept it going, just loop it. It should be simple, bro. It's not even that complicated. I also chopped this part. I went back to Serato still. <laughs> Shit was simple. Two chops, that's all you need. Oh, no, hold on. I also, uh, I pitched it up and I played it together. I played that part. I would say that's kind of more of the extra sauce part to it, in my opinion, I guess. That's what most people say. And then we got to the drums. Probably the best part, I'm not gonna lie. Regular hi-hat pattern with the drill sauce, shit simple. Then we added uh, the 808 to that. I wouldn't say that's your regular drill type of 808 for like a type of sap sauce, but that's my sauce to it, to be honest. I had to kick on top of that. Add that all together, we got some magic. <laughs> Cover the wheat smell. We in the back. 